Hey, Ali here. Welcome to my yoga channel. Welcome to the yoga mat and welcome to an intermediate vinyasa flow that focuses on all things upper body, creating strength and mobility. And hey, if you're new here, click the link in the description below. Come join us, come join the community and make sure you subscribe for more yoga. Now, regarding props, I'm not requiring any, but gather any specific ones that will support your yoga practice. With that said, please unroll your mat and let's begin this vinyasa class. Okay, to begin your practice, please come into any comfortable seated posture. I'm in a kneeling posture. You could take cross-legged and take a moment to close your eyes and go inside. Notice any distractions and your reactions to those distractions and see if you can focus inward and set an intention for your time on the mat with me. Set an intention to focus on your health and well being. Set an intention to recognize your potential, your ability to take care of your vessel, your body. So take a moment here, about five breaths, turn inward and set an intention for this practice. Final breath here. And now open your eyes and meet me in a tabletop pose. So we are gonna be on our wrists quite a bit throughout this practice. So let's come into some wrist stretches. So with the fingertips spread wide, hinge your body weight forward. Don't go too far, right? We wanna be able to practice today. And then come back and just hinge forward and back a few times. Feeling that stretch, hopefully feeling a little bit of space being created, maybe some snap, crackle, pops. And now turn the fingers to face towards the back of the mat, walk the knees in a little bit closer, and again, hinge backwards. Breathing into your wrists. Awesome. And then flip the hands over, so tops of the hands on the mat, fingertips still facing back towards the body. And again, start to hinge backwards really slowly, really gently. Don't overdo it. Awesome. Unflip the wrists, come into a tabletop pose. Let's move into thread the needle. So right hand comes beneath the face. Inhale the left arm high, reach through the left fingertips. Really get some extension here and then sweep the left hand through, left shoulder, left ear come down to the mat. Right hand can come to um, like a cupcake here or you can extend it forward or you can wrap it around the body for a half bind. You choose what works best for you. Take three breaths with me. And slide the right hand back towards the face. Push into the earth plane with that hand and sweep the left arm high, expand. Set the left hand down, other side. The right hand goes high. Extend and lengthen all the way up through the fingertips and then sweep the right hand through. Back of the right hand, right shoulder, right ear, meet the mat. And then decide, am I gonna cupcake my fingertips here? Extend my left arm in front towards the top of the mat 
or wrap for a half bind. And then check out your pelvis and your hips. Are you fully swayed to the side? Can you send your hips back in space and square them towards the back of the mat? Three breaths with me here. Awesome. Slide that left hand in. Push into the left hand. Come all the way up. Unwind the body. Reach the right hand high to the sky. Place the right hand down. We're coming into puppy pose, Anahatasana. So walk the feet towards the back of the mat. Feel yourself and make sure your hips are squared up over your knees. And then gaze forward and take a big step with one hand and then the other, making sure to keep the hips over the knees as you soften the chest down towards the earth plane. For this puppy pose, come up onto your fingertips and make it more active. Awesome. Breathe here. Nice, long, conscious breaths, focusing inward, using the breath as this powerful anchor to stay on the mat, stay in your body, embody your body, right? Don't be elsewhere where the mind wants to go. Last breath. Inhale to push into the fingers, lift up. Hinge forward, come on to forearms and meet me in forearm plank. You can keep the knees down here or extend back through both heels, lengthen from the crown to the heels, feel the tailbone descend as you do that. Push your hands into the earth plane and breathe here. Five breaths with me. Keep the pose really strong. Stay focused, modify at any time, knees down, three more breaths, hug navel to spine, no banana back, last inhale, exhale, soften the knees, lower all the way down, forehead to the earth plane, slide the hands back towards the ribs, magnetize the elbows together. Bring the toes and point them back behind you. Firm the core and now lift up cobra pose. Elbows stay bent. Again, notice your elbows. Magnetize them towards one another. Grip the mat and pull the chest up and through. Breathe here for three, two, and one. And lower down, just about halfway, curl the toes under, push up plank pose, and meet me at your first downward facing dog. First downward facing dog, I'm always recommending you bend the knees, send the tailbone really high, get a lot of length and space here on the back side of the body. Really root down through the fingertips and push the earth plane away so you're not sinking here. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale to gaze forward. Step your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, push into your feet, root to rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold through the midline, hinge at the hips, bend the knees, keep the core active, relax head and neck. Inhale, lift up halfway, send your hands into your shins, lengthen from tail through the crown, and step back, downward facing dog. In this downward dog, let's take some push-ups. So spread the fingers really wide. 
Feel all of the hand connecting with the earth plane. Hug the navel up and then start to bend about halfway down and lift. Let's do 10. Five more. Whew, two more. Last one. Awesome work. Sweep the right leg high. Bring that leg through. Plant the foot. Soften the back knee down and lift up into a low lunge. Firm the legs. Come up into goalpost arms here and breathe. Scissor the legs in towards one another, so feel the inner thighs turn on. Take three breaths with me. And now plant the hands, curl the back toe under, step back downward facing dog, just for a transition. Left leg goes high to the sky, sweep that left leg through, Plant it down, soften the right knee. Come up, low lunge, Anjaneyasana, goal post arms. Firm the legs, hug the belly tight. Lift through the sternum. Breathe with me. And now plant the hands and we're coming into plank pose and we're gonna hold for 10 breaths. You can always soften to the knees here, spread the fingers wide apart, push the earth plane away, firm the arms, lengthen through the neck and all the way back to the heels and hug the belly in. Breathe. Your breath will be your savior here. <laughs> Halfway there, check back in with your form. Final two. And send the hips back in high, downward facing dog. Take a moment, rest. Child's pose is always available to you. And now we all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale to gaze forward. Walk, step, or hop, top of the mat. Lift up halfway when you get there. Exhale and fold. Inhale, root to rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold through the midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Make this transition count. Hug navel to spine, lengthen from the tail to the crown, and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, sweep the leg through, plant it between the hands, however you can, right? Soften that left knee down, and again, rise up, low lunge, goal post arms. Check in with the legs. Are you fully sinking here? Can you lift up through the midline? So lift through your inner thighs, lift through your pelvic floor. Check in and then can you open and expand, lifting through the sternum and the collarbone? One more breath. Plant those hands down, downward facing dog as a transition. Left leg goes high this time. Bring it through, plant it between the hands, soften right knee down. Again, lift up on Janayasana, low lunge. Three breaths here. And now plant the hands, we're coming back into plank. You can hold plank or do shoulder taps with me. So firm the body to begin and take the legs a little bit wider than normal. Push the earth away, tap left hand to right shoulder, tap. 
Right hand left. Tap. Keep moving. We've got 10. That was two. Three. And four. And four. And five. And five. Move as little as possible. And six. And six. And seven. And seven. And eight. And eight. Oh gosh. Nine. And nine. And ten. And ten. Whoo! Downward facing dog or child's pose. It might be really nice to take the feet as wide as the yoga mat and downward facing dog. Lift the armpits and really send the chest back. Everyone meet in downward facing dog with the feet hip width distance, gaze forward, walk, step, or hop your way to the top of the mat, lift up halfway when you arrive, exhale, fold, inhale, root to rise, come all the way up, exhale, hands down through heart center, again, inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold through the midline, hinge from the hips, bend the knees, core stays engaged, relax head and neck, lift up halfway, move through a vinyasa, I'm going to go through cobra, so exhaling, step back, plank pose, lower chaturanga, you could also do up dog here, inhale, bhujangasana, cobra pose, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the right leg high. Exhale, bring it through. Plant the right foot. Rise up, warrior two. Awesome, Virabhadrasana two. Heel to arch alignment. Let's do a nice little stretch for the arms here. So bring the right arm high, bend the elbow. Let the left hand drop behind you. Take the left hand to come to the right elbow and actually grab the skin as you reach back and send the right fingertips towards your middle back here. It should feel really good, but maintain the strength in your legs in warrior two. So firm foundation, a nice side stretch, very subtle, and ooh, it feels so good on the triceps. All right, release that. Come back into warrior two, coming into warrior two pumps. So inhale, straighten the front leg, <laughs> straighten the front leg. Bring the palms to touch overhead. Exhale, warrior two. We've got 10. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Follow your own breath. Following the movement of your hands, focusing your gaze, focusing your awareness, honing your attention, your ability to concentrate, building mental stamina, gaining clarity. Couple more. Last one. And now windmill your hands back down to the ground. You're gonna pick up that back foot and step the right foot back. We're gonna come into side plank. So the right hand's gonna to come to the middle of the mat. Option to bring the right knee down and come into side plank here as a modified version or extend both legs back. Another modification is to splay the feet like so. Left arm goes high or stack both feet atop one another. Okay, so bring the inseam of both feet to meet, lift the hips, extend through the left fingertips. Breathe here. Five more breaths. Good. 
Gaze down, meet me back into plank, take your version of a vinyasa. We all meet in Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high. We'll do all that on the other side. Bring it through. Come up warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Find that heel to arch alignment first, set up the foundation, firm the legs. Then bring the left arm overhead, bend the elbow, send the fingertips back, bring the right hand to reach the top of the left elbow and actually gather and grab the skin and then send the left fingers down towards the back here. Baby, baby side bend. Breathing. Sending that front knee forward and towards the pinky edge toe. Back leg is firming. And release your hands, come back into traditional warrior two and inhale to straighten that front leg. Bring the palms to touch overhead. Exhale, warrior two. We've got 10. Three more. Last one. Warrior two, windmill the hands down. We're coming into side plank pose. So again, the left knee can come down. You can modify here like this. You can also take those staggered feet position or Bring both feet to stack atop one another. And notice the angle of my front arm. My shoulder is not directly over my wrist, okay? Super important. Firm the body, flex the feet, especially if you're fully balancing. Extend through the right fingertips, lift the hips, five breaths. Holy strong pose, stick with it. Gaze down, come into plank pose. Last opportunity to vinyasa here. Once you reach down dog, soften the knees, come into child's pose. And a really great variation here, especially with all of that upper body work that we just did, is send the elbows forward, melt the chest down, bring the hands into prayer, and bring the thumbs towards the back of the neck here. If you have blocks, you can even put your elbows up on blocks. Using your breath to come back into the center line, back into your power, refocusing, returning over and over again if the mind began to wander. And release your hands from the back of the neck in that prayer position. If you had it there, lift the gaze and come up into a seated posture. Kneeling is a nice transition here. If that doesn't feel good for your knees, come into uh, cross-legged, right? So just bring the right arm across the body. Right arm across the body and let the left hand clasp underneath. 
for a little nice stretch here. And the left arm across the body, right arm hugs it across and comes underneath. And now bring both hands together, clasp them, and begin to create figure eights, keeping your elbows and your arms somewhat together. And go the other way. And lastly, let's just do some shoulder rolls. So take the shoulders back. Up towards the ears and down, up towards the ears and down. And go the other way. One more roll. Awesome work. Lay down on your back. Let's just come into one bridge pose here together. So we've got one nice back bend, feet hip width distance, heels close to the glutes, not too close. You don't need to crowd yourself. Palms down by your side, firm the belly. On an inhale, push into your feet and lift your hips high. And if you wanna go for the full bridge and tuck your arms under, under your shoulder, tuck your shoulders under, sorry, so you can lift the chest high and find more extension and expansion, Sure, go for it. Choose the bridge pose for you here. Keep sending the awareness down into your heels to activate the back body to support you here. Three more breaths. If you've got the bind, release it, and all of us slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. Mm. And then let the legs windshield wipe from side to side. Awesome work today. Really great class. I hope you feel energized, strengthened, like you created a lot of space and you wrung out the tension. And settle into a short Shavasana. Extend the legs long. Let the feet splay out. I like to starfish my legs wider than the mat. Take the arms down by your sides. Big inhale breath. Hold it at the top. And exhale with a sigh. One more time, big inhale breath. Hold at the top. Exhale with a sigh. And now let yourself fully be supported by the earth plane. Allow all of that movement to integrate Notice the effects that you're already experiencing from this yoga practice and feel so grateful that you got time to spend on your mat, that you had this special time. Allowing yourself to rest, Shavasana. choosing to stay here as long as you can or take a big inhale let it go out the mouth 
stretch the arms long, stretch the legs long. Feel that sense of renewal, bend the knees, come onto your favorite side for fetal pose. Bottom arm becomes a pillow. And lift up, come all the way into a seated posture. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. Sweep your arms out to the side. Gather up that strength you cultivated today, that softness, that sense of ease and lightness and peace. Bring hands down through heart center. We'll close with an OM. Big inhale. Om. You can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me in that practice. I really hope you feel good in your body and super thankful that you got this time on the mat. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll meet you back here.